Okay, the Stoger STR9. Now, we know this is our one of our budget handguns. And the thing about this pistol, it comes in a cardboard box. It had one 13 round magazine, it had a little plastic magazine loader, and a lock and a manual, and that was about it. And there had to, you know, I got it with the $50 rebate. So it came in at quite a reasonable price, a lot less than the MSRP. One feature about this pistol is it has interchangeable back straps or back grips, whatever. The whole grip panel changes. And if you got the full deal, there was three different sizes that you can put in here. Now, one thing was confusing, we cleared it to make sure there's nothing there, is if you go into their manual and read about how to change the back straps or back grips, the grip sizes, the adjustable grip sizes, it gives you these instructions and they don't make sense. It says pull down or whatever, and I mean, they guess pull out, and it tells you not to use a screwdriver because of damage and to disassemble the whole gun and the whole nine yards. Well, the one complaint that people have is this very aggressive uh, texture on the back grip. Uh, so much so that one individual made a video where he ground these little spiky grooves out. He made a video doing that and in that video he showed me how I could not figure out from them instructions more or less and I really didn't care because I didn't have another back strap to put on there how to get this off. But actually it's quite simple. I mean they tell you to disassemble the gun, the gun's clear and if you look down inside, we'll zoom in for this and we'll get it. The little latch is down inside here. Now it tells you not to use a screwdriver and hook on that thing uh, because you'll damage the gun. But, you know, I've seen a guy use a pocket knife blade and I really don't understand why. You just lift up with this without getting crazy and you lift this little, it's like a clothespin style latch with the little thing in the front. And see, now we could go over here and remove the grip, okay, which I found out has a big M in there. So mine has a medium on it. So one guy said even if you wanted to change out the grips or, you know, interchangeable, they don't come with the gun and you can't buy the... Uh, other pieces anywhere and he says I've looked online and I looked around once myself and could not find them. Uh, there is a Stoger website or shop that sells accessories these are listed but they're sold out and so I was looking around and voila I found at Midwest Gunworks I found the back straps. So in Midwest Gunworks. I will put a link down in the description for you guys. It was $6.62 with the shipping for a grand total of $15.63. And I received this here. And then we'll, let's see what we got. And I ordered the small one. Why? Because I kind of felt that the grip was, uh, and there it is, small. That when I gripped it, I really wish I could get a little bit closer. That my finger was too far out. After looking at the two grips, side by size, medium and large, the only obvious difference is is the height of this little post in the back there is different and this does look thinner and not cast the same thickness. Ok, 
okay, is the medium. So, and also the texture, the stippling is pretty big where this is kind of smaller also. So what this is going to do with the pistol and why I got the different back strap is when gripping the handgun, okay, the angle in that and the way your hand, it's going to get my finger a little bit more square on there. And what do I mean by that? Well, we'll slip these on and I'll show you. Okay, with the medium, which came with it on there. Okay, that's what we look. When I had this in my hand and I hold it to where I have it firm and square with my hand, my finger, the way it's pressing, it's not quite on the center of the trigger. It's like just back far enough to where I'm not getting a straight back trigger pull. My finger is just... The tip of it just ain't there. I don't know if that's the best way to express it. Now when I put the small grip on, okay, it is a little bit different and it'll it'll change that grip some. Now when I get it, I basically can get a hold of the pistol straight, and now my finger is in a little bit better place and I can get it to where I can pull on that trigger straight backwards. So hopefully that'll help me out and give me some better accuracy. Because I had some issues when I shot this, it was a little quite off, I said I have to practice in that. And then what you do is you go back in here, okay to get this latch back on with this new grip Grab a hold of this, make sure it's in position, and squeeze it real good. And then with the notch on this wedge facing towards you, you slide it down into the slot, and I found that this thing... Okay, and take the screwdriver and the wedge on the top and press it down until it goes all the way in. With this new grip, it may take a little doing. And I do like where my finger and how I can apply pressure to this trigger is better with the smaller grip. What it kind of does is allow my hand to choke up because what it's doing is pushing your hand on the bottom away and this is tighter so I got a better grip on it. I like the small grip. And I found on a lot of these pistols, well some of them I found the medium is better. I like the smaller grip. So we'll go out, try this out, see if it changes the accuracy wise and like I said a little bit of a difference uh, getting it but mid all right Midwest Gunworks is the name of the company where you can get it. I will put a link to the page in the description box of this video and that way if you feel you need another grip, now mine had the medium on there, try carefully getting it off. Uh, mine had the medium, I went with the small. You can get these at the time I went there. Uh, you could get all three of them, whatever you needed. And they were six dollars and 62 cents a piece so it's up to you i only needed the small one if the medium was too big why get the large okay guys that's it if you like the video if you like the info please subscribe and stay tuned